this is an ultimate guide of how to use the blend modes or you can say it's my interpretation of how I view the blend modes. So these are the blend modes, there are 5 sections, the darken section, the lighten section, overlay section, difference section and hue section. The darken section is the exact opposite of lighten section, where darken is the opposite of lighten, screen is the opposite of multiply, and color dodge is the opposite of color burn, and the rest are opposites of one another. Overlay section is like the combination of darken section and lighten section. We're gonna talk about it more later. So let's start. I'm gonna put first darken, but first I wanna explain the images here. The images is a texture image which is dark on the right side and light on the left side and the blended layer which is a face of a guy which is light on the right side and dark on the left side. So the light is quite opposite in two images. So I place the face of the guy on top of the texture image and I'm, I'm gonna apply the blend modes to the face of the guy and test it. So first I'm gonna put the darken and darken is darker colors of the texture image replace the lighter colors on the blended. So the darker co colors on the texture image replace the lighter colors on the blended image. So that's the effect. While lighten is the exact opposite of darken where the lighter colors of the texture image replace the darker colors on the blended. So here the lighter colors replace the darker colors here. Okay, next is multiply. Multiply, as you can see here, the image came through, but it's darker as much as the darkest area in the blended image while screen is the exact opposite. The image comes through, but it's lighter as much as the lightest color in the blended layer. So next we have color burn. Color burn is the same as multiply. Here's color burn and here's multiply. So color burn is more saturated, more contrasted and darker. While color dodge is the same as screen, but more contrasted, more saturated and lighter. So next we have linear burn. This is linear burn. It's the same as color burn, but it's less bright. While linear dodge is similar to color dodge, but more bright. So this is linear dodge. It's more bright than color dodge. And then you have last darker color and lighter color. Darker color is similar to darken and lighter color is similar to lighten. The only difference is darker is a little bit darker and lighter is a little bit lighter than lighten. And then we're off to the third section which is overlay section. The overlay section starts with overlay. Overlay is like a nice combination between screen and multiply. It's kind of a nice balance which is mostly used with graphic designers. So then we have soft light. Soft light is like overlay. Uh, overlay but it's less contrasted. You can see overlay and less contrast overlay, which is soft light, because it uses lighten and darken, while overlay uses screen and multiply. Hard light is similar to overlay because it also uses multiply and screen, but it has a harsh spotlight, and you can see the difference. This is overlay and this is hard light. This is a harsh spotlight on hard light. While vivid light, this is vivid light, so let's move to the definition of vivid light which is here. Vivid light is like hard light, but it uses color dodge and color burn. So do you remember color burn and color dodge? They're more contrasted, more saturated, and either lighter or darker. So vivid light here is either more saturated and more contrasted than hard light. Okay, next we have linear light and pin light. So linear light, as you can see here, let's put it on linear light. And you can see it's very bright because the image is lighter than 50% gray. So as you can see in the description, if the blend color is brighter than 50% gray, increase brightness. If the blend color is darker than 50% gray, reduce brightness. So let's add levels and check the linear light. Now it's a very dark image because it's darker than 50% gray. So that's what linear light is about. So let's keep the levels for now and check pin light. And pin light where the colors are 50% gray on the blend layer, the texture layer shows through. So let's see. Let's put it on pin light. And remember when it's normal, it had here dark, uh, dark areas, which is gray areas. So when you put it back to pin light, you would see the texture image went through. While lighter or darker than 50% gray, the blended layer will show through. So let's see. 
where the darker and lighter areas, the blended image came through most, and it looks clear. Okay, next we have the hard mix. Let's remove the levels, and you can see that reduce the image to solid red, green, blue, cyan, yellow, magenta, white, or other. So it's kind of a primary color blend. Now next we have the fourth section which is difference. Difference is the lightest colors are subtracted from the darkest colors. So the lightest colors here are subtracted from the darkest color here and you would have this kind of effect with some kind of luminosity. And now the next one is exclusion. Exclusion is similar to difference but with less saturation. It's just less saturation would have exclusion. Next is hue. So for the hue I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna move back here and press on this layer and add hue and saturation. It becomes green. So let's put this face back to hue and you can see it blends the color of this face or the hue of this face on the structure of this texture image. So it keeps the structure and shape of this texture image but uses the hue of this face. While the saturation is the opposite. You go to saturation and it uses the color of this uh, texture image and the structure of the face which is you can kind of barely see so color and luminosity are also opposites so if you want to put it on color you would see that it uses the color of the face on the texture image while hue uses the hue of the face now it uses the color so luminosity is the exact opposite it uses the color of the texture image on the shape and structure of the face. And that's all. Thank you.